Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best exercises to grow your glutes using dumbbells. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to join the family and follow me on my socials because I do post more outside of YouTube. Okay guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say this real quick because I've been seeing so many comments about it. Obviously, wearing a mask to work out is not healthy, but it is a requirement to enter the gym. Obviously, if I had a choice, I would not be wearing a mask, but guess what? It is called a requirement to enter the building, so I'm going to wear a mask. And sometimes, obviously, I'm just a respectful person. There have been some people in the gym that are very, you know, like, oh, even if the mask is just under my nose, they're very picky about it, but it is what it is. Like, if you don't want to wear a mask so much, you can stay your ass at home and not go into the gym. Like, it's that simple. But don't come in into my comments talking about, oh, you're, you're so stupid for wearing a mask. I want to be in the gym, so I'm going to wear a mask. The fuck? Okay, so our first exercise is going to be stiff leg dumbbells. I really, really love this exercise because it really gives you the chance to focus on your glutes and your hamstrings as well. My main tip for these when you're doing them is just make sure all the weight is going on your heels. And when you're going all the way down and all the way up, make sure you're squeezing your glutes the entire time. And don't be scared to add bands. As you can see, I was using bands in these as well. And I'm doing 40, uh, 40 pounds. I feel like that is a very comfortable weight for me and also like really hardcore going at the glutes you really want to cause as much tension as possible in my opinion if you really want to grow your glutes as you know hip thrusts are the ultimate best best booty building exercise as you can see I'm putting a dumbbell over and bands to cause extra tension on my glutes and I'm squeezing the entire time you guys no matter what if you want to grow your legs or just your booty in general you have to remember to always squeeze really hard and in this next exercise which is assisted single leg deadlift I really like this exercise but I don't really do it that often but what I like mainly about it is the, ex the extension and the tension that it causes in my hamstrings and my glutes and as you can see when I go back to the top I'm squeezing really really hard also you guys um, don't don't worry I'm still gonna be doing follow alongs it's just really hard because when you are following I can't really do follow alongs with booty building because to me that's not how you will grow your glutes you need to take your time and doing assorted exercises and when I say assorted exercise I mean take your time and doing literally what I post like you want to do an exercise for a good three to four sets taking your time slow and controlled and doing about 15 to 20 or 10 to 20 reps of an exercise that's how you grow your glutes like people that say oh do a little follow along like no that's not how you're gonna grow your glutes that's just my opinion though but hey as, like i said you guys have been following me for the longest and you can obviously see my results that's just my opinion but hey next we have reverse lunges personally i'm not the biggest fan of reverse lunges i more so like walking forward lunges not behind because i just don't really have the best coordination honestly in my opinion but i find it more easier when i'm doing walking forward lunges but let me know what you guys prefer in the comments do you like reverse lunges or do you like the walking forward ones i actually really want to know okay so next we just have regular banded dumbbell squat sumo squats you guys you can do it without the band or you can do it with the band um i would say do both sets with a band and without a band so the first set do like how i'm doing obviously you can't really go as deep into a sumo squat with the band but if you are doing it with the band and you have a heavy dumbbell trust me you're really going to feel it in your glutes and again don't rush take your time and squeeze really hard and again focus on your mind to muscle connection and then the next set do it without the band and do more of a wider deeper squat you 
Oof, trust me. You'll just just comment down below when you try it out because I'm telling you, mm, the way your booty is gonna have the biggest pump. I feel like if you aren't even going to the gym and you're just at home with a dumbbell, this video is really great for those who obviously are both in the gym and at home because, yeah, like my opinion, if you just want to grow your glutes at home for now and you don't want to go out yet, this video would be the best for you because I'm really showing you guys the best exercises for your glutes and you're going to see you're gonna feel it right after but yeah the next one is this exercise which is also a great one remember you guys wait on your heels take your time focus on your mind to muscle connection and squeeze really really hard no rushing okay we don't rush <laughs> And then towards the end, I'm just gonna add a quick little pulsating one just to get my blood flow and the pump as well. okay so next one we have the side lunges personally i'm not a biggest fan of side lunges and i don't do them that often but i just wanted to show you guys because it is also a great exercise i again like i said my coordination is just not the best so i don't really like these and also my ankles are not the best so for me personally it just doesn't work right for me but like i said this video is best exercises using dumbbells so here you go Also, another thing is when it comes to exercises like these where it's single legged, if you guys ever struggle with imbalancement, I find that um, doing extra reps or just taking your time and focusing on the single legged exercises will are best. Like I said, if you have imbalancement, I have imbalancement as well. My right side is dominant and way better than my left side. So sometimes for me, it's a struggle to do single legged exercises. But like I said, it's great. Um, so if you guys can do them as much as possible, that is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so for these you most likely will feel awkward in the beginning and normally when you do these ones um, kneeling squats so usually with um, the at the Smith machine but this one at least the benefit of this one is that it's also you're working and using your upper body a lot so you're gonna also not only feel it in your glutes but you're gonna feel it in your lower back and in your arms as well but like I said it will feel awkward just try to make sure that you place use a light dumbbell to start off and then just try to ha find a comfortable position to place the dumbbells on your shoulders or even if like I said you can even hold them with your arms regardless it's going to be working and you're going to be using your arms as well
Why they sleep and why they snooze on me? I was seasoned up Okay, yeah, so I decided to include calves this time because as you guys know, if you've been following and watching my videos for a while, you know that I don't typically in include calf videos because I feel like they're so boring. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see calf like exercises or not. But usually calves are just such a basic thing that I don't know. It, to me, it's kind of like a waste of content space. But like I said, let me know if you guys want calf exercises. But yeah, if you guys want them, I will include them. But if not, or you guys don't really care, then I'm not going to include them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to watch more videos. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Okay.